In my high school and early college years, my biology tended to teach that the sex of a child is determined at birth, at conception, so that uh, women have X chromosomes and the male could either have an X or a Y chromosome. Now, if the X hooks up with the X, it's a girl, and if the X and Y hook up, the X from the, the Y from the man, then it's a boy. But later on, scientists came on and said that uh, at conception, you know, things are kind of fluid and then some chemicals kick in and then uh, something happens and a person becomes either a, a, a male or a female. I don't know if this was science or whether it's uh, an excuse for um, individuals who have a tendency to be homosexual or gay. Um, but I still believe that that science is true. Because you see it all the time. Here's a family only having boys and another family only having girls. And if the men were to exchange with them, then they're going to have... Uh, uh, no, let me put it this way. Here's a lady who has, with her husband, only girls. And then a neighbor has uh, only boys. If she gets together with that man and they have a child, it's likely the child is going to be uh, a boy. So... It, it seems to be more conclusive that it's uh, the male who determines the sex of the child, either an X or a Y. But uh, I still believe that as heavy science, and I'm going to stick with that.